guys, Courtney Mermaid here and welcome to another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys an up close look at my mermaid wig. So as some of you guys may or may not be aware, uh, I do wear a wig from time to time. Um, this actually used to appear in a couple of other videos that I used to do um, live streams and things because I was getting used to the feeling of wearing a wig. Um, the reason I got it was because at the time I had cut all my hair off due to a neck injury because my hair was very heavy <laughs> and I just couldn't handle long hair anymore. So I hacked it all off, uh, but I was still wanted to have long hair. So this is my wig. It is from Wig is Fashion, if I'm not mistaken. And I will leave a link to them down in the description box below. Um, what I actually did, this was a lace front wig. I actually cut the lace uh, down and I actually actually glued this guy onto a headband. Uh, I did this in a couple of different stages. At first, I was just using it bobby pinned to my head with half my hair like flipped over it. And then I added the headband. And then from there, I went a little bit crazy. <laughs> I added shells, I added little greeny bits, and I just had some fun. Um, another modification I made was I actually added one more comb. I cut it out of another part of the wig and I actually sewed it uh, and then glued it into the top because mermaid wigs can sometimes give you a hard time and not stay on your head very well. So I just reinforced these things, you know what I'm saying. Like really, I'll give you guys a, a close a close-up look. All my shells and everything are glued down with hot glue. I am thinking I might reinforce them further with E6000 glue, but I hadn't intended on actually swimming with this, which I did, which was interesting because boy does it get heavy. It got so heavy so fast and I just use a regular brush to brush it out, but I don't brush it out like crazy because once you you know, rip out hair, it doesn't grow back, you know? So you gotta be nice to your wig, you know what I'm saying? And the little green bits are just glued to the back of the shells. So there isn't really that much more to it other than the fact that it's attached to a headband. I can put it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like. I have a bit of a cheat. What I do is I uh, put, I divide my hair into three sections. Um, right down the middle. I keep two sides long here and then I put the rest of it in a ponytail that I literally just leave down behind my neck. And the hair color is close enough. When this is wet and when my hair is wet, it's almost an exact match. But when this is dry and my hair is dry there, this is like more red than, my hair is still a bit damp right now, but this is definitely more red than my hair is. So, you know, it's fine for, I don't get commented on that, ever but I do like to touch up my hair to match the wig or sometimes I will even um, put a hue over top of this to just deset like I'll just desaturate the hair a little bit uh, in Photoshop after the fact so you know we can just I can just show you guys how I do this but the idea is that I wanted to have kind of a seam down the front. Try not to rip off my fancy pants makeup while I'm at it. Now this is not how I would do this if I was actually planning on swimming in this wig. I can't reach my hair tie, guys. Oh my gosh. Um, if you are actually planning on swimming with your wig, I would recommend checking out a couple of other, I will leave a couple of links um, I believe the Magic Crafter did one and I think Rain and Mermaid also did one. So I will leave links to their videos um, in the cards if I can. And if I can't, I will leave them in the description box down below because those lovely ladies swim with their wigs. I only wear mine. This is the best look I've ever achieved here. And I don't actually swim with mine. I was swimming with it, but it was purely for the, <laughs> for the photos. It wasn't meant to be functional, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to find my, my clip because I try and get it up as high as I can. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ouch, 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 ouch. There you go. Ba-boom. And the idea with these is going to be that it gives me a natural looking hairline but I'm a total cheat, right? Like, so I bring a little bit 
from each side to the front, okay? Grab my uh, trusty bobby pins here. And then I actually grab, keep my ear kind of covered. And I will actually, ow, <laughs> pin that right behind it. There we go. And I say keep my ears covered because it does push the, the headband actually pushes my ears out a little bit and it's a little bit uncomfortable. It's actually more comfortable for them to sit. Um, I did not get this as tight as I wanted it to. There. So that's one side, right? And then that way the, the hair is behind, but now I have like, it looks intentional. It looks like, okay, it's her hair from a distance and in photos, it can be kind of cheated. So, and there you go. And you just kind of puff it up a little bit. Good, and that's pretty much how it's done. Now I have full mermaid crown hair and excitement, and I don't have to now worry about the fact that my hair is only this long yet. And it's not, it's, there's nothing wrong with having short hair. I just, for the couple of photo shoots that I wanted to do this year, I wanted to have just, you know, a little longer, a little sassier kind of thing. This is kind of intense with all of this all together. I feel like I should be going to a, a photo shoot right now. I need to adjust the sides because I haven't actually pinned this all the way into my, into my uh, head. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it looked like on and how this works. So in Photoshop later on, this is the part. It's really easy to color pick a color, like the main color of my hair and then color correct everything else. If I could get a wig that was a little bit closer to my hair color, I would be happier with that, but that's, you know what? <laughs> that's future Courtney's problem. Cause for now, current Courtney's like, hey man, the wig works, we call it a day. Um, but yeah, so wigs are a great option. I will leave a link to uh, Wig is Fashion down below if you guys are interested. I heard about them through Raina Mermaid um, a while back. I think she's using somebody else now, but um, there you go. I've only bought the one wig from them, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out my new Sea Witch line that is in my shop. And on that note, again, I will leave a link to the video where I created this makeup look up in the cards and down in the description box as well. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to join the pod and hit that bell notification as well so you don't miss any of my mermaid adventures. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Happy swimming, my little fishes. Bye.